Hi, Charlie Kosorek, Jack Bench Woodworking, and today I'm going to show you how and why I inlaid the uh, little black stars into the top of the slab coffee table that I built a few months ago. And I'm also going to show you a few things that I would do differently uh, the next time around. We won't call them mistakes. Well, okay, one was an outright mistake. <laughs> But um, anyway, yeah, there's, there's a, there are a few things I do differently, and I'll, I'll, I'll show you those as we go along, too. The slab started out, and it had a bunch of wormholes in it, and most of them were round. A few of them were elongated. And I, uh, my idea was to mask off the wormholes, fill them with epoxy, and I would have a bunch of nice, distinct little um, dots and lines on the uh, surface of the table. Unfortunately, what I didn't consider is that, it, that this was all end grain, and when I put the epoxy into the wormholes, it bled out to the uh, surrounding area around the wormholes, and I, what I ended up with were these ugly, amorphous little blobs on the top of the table, and it, it really looked terrible. So then I started thinking, okay, how can I fix this? What can I do? And what I came up with was I would disguise these uh, ugly little blobs by uh, inlaying stars over the top of them. Well, I didn't want the, the stars to look like a bunch of little cookie cutters, so I freehanded the shape of them onto the surface of the wood with a Sharpie. Then I scored around the outline of each one of them with the chisel and an X-Acto knife. I removed most of the waste from the uh, stars with a Dremel tool. And Dremel tool is great, it's a perfect thing for this. The uh, Dremel accessory that comes with it, they call it a cutout base, it's really not very good. It's not very accurate, it's made out of plastic, it's hard to get repeatable cuts. But that's what I had and so that's what I used. So after I hogged out the waste with the Dremel, I, I cleaned it up with a small chisel and a detail knife. Now, if you're not familiar with detail knife, it's something uh, wood carvers use a lot, and uh, it's very handy. It's, it's uh, tougher than an X-Acto knife, uh, but it's more accurate than using a utility knife. So it was perfect for, uh, for this job. If you want to get a better look at what a detail knife is and what I mean by that, I, there's a link in the description below, so you can just take a look at that if, just if you want to see what they look like. So next I masked over the star recesses with some uh, tape and I cut the excess out with an X-Acto knife. I've had very good luck using this Crystallac product for grain filling and since I was a little spooked with the epoxy experience I just had, I thought I'd use the Crystallac to fill the, the recess for the stars. I used some regular RIT dye that I got at the grocery store, put a few drops of that in with the uh, Crystallac to dye it black, and it, that worked very well. So the Crystallac is really not intended for what I used it for here. It's more intended for just filling grain and for filling these big, larger, relatively larger recesses. Uh, there was a problem because it would shrink back and I had to uh, apply several different layers to bring it level with the surface of the wood. The advantage to the Crystallac though is it was very easy to sand off and so that, uh, that made that part of it easy and it went very well. Well here are a few pictures of the final results. Um, overall, I'm, uh, I'm really pretty happy with how it turned out. Yes, there were a few learning opportunities along the way, but uh, all in all I think it was worth it. If you want to know more about my slab coffee table build, I've got three other videos on that uh, build and links to those videos will be in the description uh, below on this. So if you're interested, please check it out. Also, I'm sure you noticed that I did something a little different with this video. When I'm talking about the green screen, the uh, picture in picture, the big background with the smaller me in the foreground uh, narrating and I'm really very interested in uh, what you thought about that. Please, if you would, leave some comments uh, down below um, what you thought of it one way or another, whether you liked it or you didn't like it. I really want to know whether it was worth the extra effort it took to produce. And what I would also appreciate very much is if you did like this video, then please do give me a thumbs up. Uh, it does help my channel. Um, share it with your friends. <laughs> and um, thanks for watching.